study today. I don't need to get up just yet, but I guess it wouldn't hurt. Or I could just give in and go back to sleep. I'm still feeling kind of beat after training last night. Huh? Like, who? Oh, right in the gut. I can't believe it! My very first class trip! We're gonna have the best time! How much money do I get to spend on sweets and stuff? Oh, oh! Do bananas count as snacks? N no, no, they don't! Just. just get off me! Please. Ah, there you are. Good morning, Reen. <laughs> Seems you had quite the rude awakening this morning. Yeah. Coffee only wishes it was that effective. She must have really been looking forward to this trip. <laughs> it certainly seems so. She holds her own in class, to be sure. But at times like these, she seems like any other kid her age. I'm looking forward to finally getting the chance to visit Laura's hometown. I've heard that Lagram is known for both its many legends and for the mist that hangs over the town for much of the year. <laughs> I don't know which stories you've heard. But most of them have been exaggerated in the retelling over time. It certainly doesn't lack for scenic beauty, though. I was hoping I'd have the opportunity to invite you to see it. Though I wish Elisa, Fee, and the others in Group B could have come with us. <laughs> Me too! I hope they enjoy their trip. Sorry to keep you waiting! Y uses? Good heavens! Ugh, can someone do something about this child? She's out of control. <laughs> okay, looks like everybody's here. Let's go, go, go! You're all heading out? What? Isn't that... Huh? What are you doing here, Lecter? You missed me already. Sure did. I'm gonna be back in Crossbell starting the day after tomorrow. Might never have the chance to see you again in this lifetime, so I figured I'd drop by and say hello. Shh, whatever. You're so silly. There's no way you or Gramps would die that easily. Well, that old goat might scare off the Reaper, but I'm pretty weak, you know. Who's he? Captain Lecter Arundel of the Imperial Intelligence Division. We saw him while we were on our field study in Nord. He's the one supposedly responsible for negotiating with the Republic's army to prevent war from breaking out. But... So he's the Iron Blood they call Scarecrow. I have to admit, he doesn't look like someone who specializes in espionage. Well, I'm sure this little drop of sunshine's got suspicious written all over her, but I hope you're getting along. Don't hesitate to give her a good spanking if she causes too much trouble, though. Uh, oh. Um, we'll try our best to be a welcoming class. I'm not gonna call.
cause them any trouble. Unlike you, I'm a little angel. Not a little angel would casually whip out something like Eric Getlam in public. Do you have any idea how much overtime we put in just covering up for you? Huh? You do? Passenger service bound for Heimdall. Now arriving on Platform 2. We ask that all passengers wishing to board, please wait on the platform until the train has come to a complete stop. If you'll excuse us, Captain, I'm afraid we need to catch this train. Sure thing. Uh, good luck out there, guys. Oh, and by the way, I'd prefer it if you referred to me as secretary rather than captain in public. After all, I am a second secretary for the Imperial government. I see. Well then, if you'll excuse us, Mr. Secretary. You better bring me back a souvenir from Crossbell! They seem like an even more interesting bunch than I'd heard. Hope she gets the chance to soak in the good times at school like I did. Well, well. For two Ironbloods, you two have a pretty cozy thing going. Uh-oh. Looks like a scary lady's got me in her sights. Time to make my exit. Not so fast. Didn't you have something you were supposed to give me? Come on. Cough it up. They don't call you the Purple Lightning for nothing. Maybe you should consider giving up this teaching gig and coming to work for us. I'll bet we could offer double what the Academy's paying you. No sweat. Ah, Strictly business, huh? Obviously. I'm not getting any younger here. Hand it over. This is the list of every member of the Imperial Liberation Front that we're aware of at present. We've made progress in identifying their top figures, too. I see. I suppose I should think. One more thing. Claire had a message she wanted me to pass along. I'm listening. Their primary target is Crossbell City, but there's a chance that something else will be going down within the Empire at the same time. Those were her words. 